it's Ari and thank you so much for being here today I'm gonna be doing Doki Doki Literature Club part four I know it's been a while I'm sorry guys I got really really busy but I'm back and I decided I'm gonna do the more episodes but I'm gonna be doing them in this police outfit because all the girls in this game they're underage and that needs to be monitored no I'm kidding I'm just wearing it because I think it's cute I love it so without a further ado do, do here we go all right, whose poem should I read next? Let's do Sayori. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you didn't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably not Suki. Uh, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Ari. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> all right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori, tell Monique I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Who else should I show my poem to next? Hmm. Who should I show my poem to next? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna do Natsuki because I feel like she's the most entertaining. So here we go. Finally! Huh? This one, it's good. I was wondering how long it would take you. All right. Yeah, seriously. Don't listen to what anyone else says, especially Yuri. Just keep writing poems like this. That's all you need. Uh, are you sure that's not just what you want? Excuse me? You're talking to a pro, you know? Don't you think you should trust my opinion the most? I guess that depends. Aren't you biased towards poems that are more simple and cute? Bias? Of course not. My opinion just happens to be the best. Uh, there is one thing I still can't tell. Is Natsuki actually self-aware of her spoiled behavior? At this rate, I don't know if I'll ever figure it out. Fair enough. I'm glad that you like my poem, after all. <laughs> oh, I hate her so much. She's so evil. Ah, oh, I just... Oh. I knew you'd finally understand. Just keep showing me your poems and you'll be a pro before you know it. Anyway, here's the one I wrote. Ah, I'll be your beach. I thought that said I'll be your beep. <laughs> your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wander over the years, but today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that watches your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about every day. I'll be the beach. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams, and hold my hand hold it guys hold my hand <laughs> wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see your shine oh i hit the mic <laughs> let's leave your memories in a footprint trail set your set you free in my windy sail and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine i'll be the beach that washes your worries away i'll be the beach that you daydream about every day each day i'll be the be i'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so <Sad> wrong. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah! I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome! Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. About the beach. <laughs> So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing... 
she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. Ugh, can you really say you're doing that too? Making us write about a simple topic then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy? Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. She's so weird. Who should I show my poem to next? Let's do it to Yuri! Yay! Well done, Ari! <laughs> my voice cracked. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this? It's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first. But now, it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing your writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. Uh-huh. Some personal time. Uh-huh. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Oh, I did the wrong voice. I'm sorry, guys. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Ari? Oh, well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way you get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is, is that, is that so? Mm. Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Huh? For me to have to become someone whose opinion is fearsome? How unlikable of me. Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sort of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri, wh what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. All right. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay, here. Oh, beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chastically meets the surface under a clear blue sky and an ex expanse of bliss. I'm having trouble reading this, guys. I apologize. But beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in, and where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at you, your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles. Where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. That was very deep. I actually really like that poem. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a meta metaphorical approach at it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. She, she, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But... Well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay, you three! We're 
all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Uh, something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Hmm. A catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh, snap. Something terrible is about to happen, guys. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Yuri always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well, and she went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Ooh. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation. So, let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. And Tsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! <laughs> and as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Uh... Yuri, uh, you can, uh, um... <laughs> Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless! No, no, no! That's not it at all! You're the most talented person here, you know? Hmm! Now, now, Natsuki's pounding too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri! You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway... That just leaves you, Ari, the one who is truly useless. <laughs> oh, snap, that hurt. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monika suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ooh. <laughs> ah! I suppose I wouldn't mind a, a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like when Mika's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Ari may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Oh, look at that smug look on Yuri's face. She's cute. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyways? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Ari to... What are you saying? 
It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Ari to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Oh, snap. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said, I'm surprised as well. S sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Uh, yeah. Ari, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Very well. In that case, everyone looked straight at me. But of course I'm going to go- Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Um. Oh. Just so I don't get lost in the story progression, since I chose Yuri earlier, I'm gonna choose Yuri again. I'm gonna have to write down to keep track of everything, but... I'm gonna pick Yuri! Yeah! Well, I'll probably be most- useful helping out Yuri. M me? Are you serious? Why would you? Not Stooky. I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Ari? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? Uh, I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Ari? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Hmm... Natsuki... What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, no, no. That's not what I meant at all. Huh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Ari picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that. So... So... I get it. I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that, but you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. Wow, she just admitted she's acting immature. That's the first for Natsuki. Uh, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Manika and I are also taken back by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm, I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Hmm? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Manika and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um... Huh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, listen to that adorable music. That's so sweet. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. <laughs> Should I give you my phone number? I, I think that would be the best way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, then. You and I exchange phone numbers. Uh, okay. 
then I'll, I'll be stopping by your house Sunday. Ah, uh, my house? Is, is that a problem? No, no, not not at all. I just thought that I, I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, uh I suppose that makes sense. But, but if, if you don't mind, I, I think I would prefer going to your house. <laughs> uh, Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure that my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Ari. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only cho choose me because chose me because you felt bad for me or something. Well, wait! You don't actually think that, do you? Um. I, I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, 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 uh... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Uh... I didn't realize... I'm telling you, I want to! That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. Ah! I believe you! As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday! Yeah! I am too! After that exchange, I make my way out the door, and Yuri follows. I can't believe this! Yuri is gonna be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof! Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might, might end up happening when we're out of sight of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait! That's so cute. Adorable. It's already Sunday! I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri's clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. Uh-huh, sure. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't had a thing from heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monika said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? Huh. I decided to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Uh, why is the house quiet? Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. Oh man, guys, I have a bad feeling about this. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her! Sayori? Oh my gosh, she got trolled! Oh, this game! Wow, I thought she was gonna be dead on the floor or something. Hi, Ari! I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. 
It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as is messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Uh, Monika told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you gonna be helping Monika today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep! There's more silence between us. Dairy stores in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday? When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Sarah smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Ari. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulder. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Ari. <laughs> but... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just gonna make me say it, aren't you, Ari? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What e reason is there to do anything when I fully know just how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? Oh man. <laughs> that's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. <sighs> that hit so close to home. Oh my god. <laughs> oh poor Sayori. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Ah, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not, you know, think anything about her? <laughs> Why, Sayori? Eh. <laughs> Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. God. 
I'm sorry, guys. It just. <laughs> you don't understand at all, Ari. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right. I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Ari. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. <laughs> I made you join the literature. I missed that. <laughs> and I was punished by my heart. <laughs> hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here. And I made you hurt too. I'm just weak. And selfish that's all I am and that's why I'm going to accept <laughs> oh man guys give me a second I need a breather Wow and that's why I'm gonna accept these punishments because I deserve every last one without thinking I once again grab Sayori's shoulders this time I pull her into a tight embrace uh, Ari Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Ari... Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her side. She starts, starts sobbing next to my ear. No! Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Ari! I... Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings. Ari, the only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm and that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it? all with you um i it's what i want i promise i i think that would be nice then yeah sayori wipes her eyes wow i actually really do need to wipe my eyes right now Woo. Woo, guys that was deep that was deep Woo. if i could spend the whole day here i would of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. 
If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be a very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, uh, thank goodness! You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, 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 I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way to my house. I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I take Yuri to my room. Alright guys, I'm actually gonna cut the video here. I'm still pretty... pretty emotional from what happened earlier. That hit me really hard. That was really deep. That was really beautifully done. I see why a lot of people love this game now. But anyways, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm thankful for you guys for always tuning in, for giving me advice, for just being there for me. I love talking to you all. You just always make my day, and I love you guys so much. I hope I could get you to smile or laugh, even if it's only for a little while. And if you like what you watch, please feel free to subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!